Alright guys, so just carrying on from the last tutorial, just wanted to go through a couple of extra uh, bits that are quite interesting that you can do with uh, this kind of fluid and um, particle setup, which may not be um, immediately obvious. So um, obviously we've got the fluid controlling the particles, which is a neat little fit, uh, feature, but we can take that a few steps further. Um, so let's think along the lines of the fluid also being able to control some geometry so if I create a cube uh, obviously if I hit play nothing's going to happen because the cube um, isn't uh, set to interact with the fluid so if we went to the fluid and the cube and tried to do the fields uh, affect the selected object like I did with the particles that's not going to work because the cube's not um, got any kind of particles associated with it um, as in it's not a dynamic piece of geometry so there's a couple of different ways we can make it dynamic um, we can either just use uh, end dynamics, end mesh, you know like that end cloth but with end cloth you're going to get um, the stability issue like if you want a real strong rigid object um, that can, can sometimes be a little bit of hassle to set up with end mesh um, so why not just use uh, straightforward my dynamics um, a active rigid body so let's do that so in the um, dynamics menu we just go to soft rigid bodies and create an active rigid body it's been ages since I've used uh, rigid bodies with my so obviously we're gonna have to get uh, make sure that they affect each other so um, we'll select the cube and select the fluid um, and we'll just go into fields uh, affect selected object and we can see that Myers computed that no problem so if we uh, play now you can see that that is certainly affecting it which is pretty cool um, obviously it's just sort of going way off into space but we can control its mass uh, as in its weight um, to make it um, a little bit heavier so if we just go into the rigid body and we pull the mass up a bit the fluids can have more of a difficult time of pushing it up and you see it, it kind of went through the fluid a bit then so let's try it again so it's floating up now let me take that mass up much further yeah you see so now it's, now it's pushing it along um, which is cool. Now obviously that cube's going to carry on going off into infinity because it's not controlled by any kind of gravity system. It's not controlled by the nucleus gravity because it's not an N um, it's not got any N attributes associated with it. So we need to with any sort of uh, active rigid stuff in my you need to add some fields. So um, if we add gravity to this um, I'm just going to double check that, that gravity is connected to that cube because uh, earlier it didn't. Uh, we're going to the relationship editor and it, the uh, dynamic relationships. Now I don't know if you use this much, but um, it's a handy little tool. So if we've got that selected, that cube, we can see that it didn't actually um, uh, connect to the gravity field. So if we just click there, then we know that it's, they're both highlighted and these are the two things that are um, attached to the cube. So now if we press play, it's probably going to start dropping straight away which is fair enough, um, but we could just lower that gravity a little bit we may even want to animate the gravity but there we go, that's now sort of just stuck within it, and obviously we can have as many of them as we want we can also scale it up a bit, make it more of an interesting shape so it sits on top of that cloud right, no, it really needs to come down with its mass, it's a bigger object now <laughs> I think we're going to need to lift it up a bit oh. let's get that mass right down no, well obviously that gravity is too much for it Well, I think it's something to do with the way the fact that I've scaled this up into that kind of shape. Let's uh, try that. 
obviously I'm running with the least amount of subdivisions here at the moment so it's, uh, it's having a bit of a problem with that intersecting through it cool but so you get the idea so that's um that's that's using a, a active rigid body but let's take it one step further let's get rid of the cube and the gravity field so we've just got a fluid in here and the particle system attached to it so if I was to create a plane now I'm just going to up the divisions in here a little bit maybe it's about 20 okay so um, let's see if we can deform this via the fluid so if I go to the end dynamics and mesh and I'm going to create an end cloth object out of it if I hit play now obviously we know it's just going to drop um, but it is deforming but it's only deforming at the moment because of the part the end particles that are in there um, so we need to do that step again where we uh, select the end cloth and we select uh, the fluid and we go into fields effect selected So now we can see that that uh, puff of smoke is uh, is interacting with it. So we rewind, and I don't want this uh, to move at all. If I just select all the edges and then convert those to verts, I'll go into constraint and transform constraint. It's still going to drop because it's being um, controlled by the uh, nucleus gravity. But if I go into the end cloth attributes um, and turn on ignore solve gravity then it's not going to do any movement at all until that um, until that hits it which is cool so there's another step we can take to take it even further is to if we uh, select the um, plane and we go into end constraint we make it a terrible surface um, and we can then select that constraint and we can just perhaps pull down the glue strength and we'll try and get that fluid to break through Well, that's quite interesting. So, having the glue strength isn't wasn't enough. I want it to bulge a bit first and then break. There we go. That's that's quite interesting. So you can see that with the fluid, it's not it, it's um, the forces within the fluid um, are all moving around like so. I have to pause this and take this, sorry. Sorry about that. Um, so, yeah, so we've got the fluid breaking through and it's doing its thing. And obviously, as I was saying, because of the, the fluids and the um, movement within the fluids, um, it's not just a straight up with movement because there's a lot of turbulence and swirl in there. You've got different velocities moving around inside the voxels, which is uh, in places causing a, like a, a downward pull. Um, but as well as a push so what we can also do is one step further believe it or not is we can select the plane and we can select the fluid um, and if we go into um, uh, the fields menu we can uh, sorry if we go into the fluids menu we can do make uh, collide so now this um, end surface is also a collision surface for the fluid which means where the fluid can't break through it will um, be pushing around the sides so we can see that there so we'd have to work with the, um, the pressure of the fluid to allow it to push through where we want it to push through and we'd also have to work with the glue strength of the um, with the end plane so see if we just bring the strength down a bit maybe it'll be able to break through with its current um, strength let's give it a go it's not actually managing it let's pull the glue strings down
There we go. And now it's, now it's, now it's doing it. So it's pushing through and you can get all little puffs coming out and stuff. Um, obviously you'd want to smooth this object and make it all nice and that. But you can see that in areas that it can't come through, it's uh, bulging around the sides, etc. So a nice effect and interesting there you can quite easily without any coding or expressions or mail etc. get um, Maya to do some really quite complex um, dynamics uh, in a fairly short space of time. So there you go guys, I hope you enjoyed that as a little addition to the last tutorial um, and just see what you can come up with. Um, just want to take this opportunity to thank all my subscribers for subscribing. Um, getting quite a lot of new subscribers lately so I'm really happy about that. If you can just remember to like my stuff and keep subscribing. Uh, obviously all the comments that come through I'll try um, to reply to them as quickly as possible. Um, but just keep them clean and keep them about the subjects um, and everything's going to be awesome so thanks guys take care look after yourself bye, -bye.